Good morning, Internet. Today I want to talk to you about two camp stoves that are very popular in the camping and preparedness space. The Solo Stove and the Kelly Kettle. Both of which are very, very good at what they do. Um, so I guess your preference would depend on what it is you want to do. Um, Size-wise, compared to the Solo Stove packs up much smaller than the Kelly Kettle does, as you can see from my hands. The differences come when you unpack them also. There's also some other differences you should see. Solo Stove just released their um, Solo Pot 900. Cute little device. Um, not a bad size. There's also the Kelly Kettle Cook Set, which all stows inside itself also. You'll have to excuse me, these videos are not rehearsed. Alright, it's not coming out. Let's do a little bit of voodoo here and get this puppy moving. There we go. So, let's say you're in the woods, you want to cook or boil some water, what do you do? Well, with the solo stove, you simply unpack it, get your fire going, deploy the fire ring, pop your stove on top, and you're ready to go. So not, not too bad, pretty simple package. I think you've got four moving parts in total. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, the Kelly Kettle, on the other hand, has a couple different moving parts. So if you're just going to boil water, Kelly Kettle is pretty quick. Start your fire in the fire base. Make sure this is full of water and the cork is removed at all times while you are applying heat to this. Build your fire. The flames and the heat actually come through the hollow walled container which has the water in it. Heating the, the water very rapidly. This will heat 16 ounces of water in, I think, about five minutes flat. Very quick, very efficient. Um, let's say you want to cook something, though. You're not, you're not cooking like your, your mountain house meals. You're not making um, dehydrated foods. You want to actually cook something real. Um, that's going to take a little bit of an addition to this because you cannot set a cook pot on here because you're going to smother your flame and it's, it's just not gonna work. So you have to add your pot supports, also sold separately unless you buy a bundle. Then your cook pot goes on top. Now, that's a pretty big thing to cook. Now it's, it's very efficient, it's very fast, but that's kind of a tall, unwieldy looking thing to me. Now, I, I do love the Kelly Kettle, don't get me wrong. It, it's, it's great, and if I'm boiling water, first choice every time, boom, done. When you compare that to this, I think you can see what I'm getting at. Voila. Um, so for for weight and, and space in my bag, this to me is, is a lifesaver. I mean, look at that. All right there. Everything I need to cook except for my utensils, I'm ready to rumble. Um, I can make enough food for two people. This um, might be enough for two people if you are both Smurfs. But, you know, if this was just me out in the woods and I was making a quick meal, something dehydrated, yeah, by all means, let's let's go this way. Now, am I saying that I like the, the Solo better than the Kelly Kettle? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it, it really comes down to, to what you want to do with it, right? So that's all I have today. I'm going to keep these short and try to make them more frequent. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, please. Um, have a nice day, guys.